I made this video because it is very, very difficult to have a conversation on these matters of Christianity and um, spirituality, religion, things of that nature. But I just thought that I just wanted to share this little video just to help you really understand where I'm coming from. I understand where you're coming from. And I understand that there is a there's a big gap between us. Uh, in order for me to love more, to, they say to know me is to love me. Well, I'm here reading my Bible. I want to get to know you because I love you. All right. So let me start by saying this. Love, from what I understand, love is available and love is open and love is free and it's free access to all love that is the love that I'm talking about that is the love the life the light the breath the energy that I like to call it, that I'm talking about. That's the love that I'm talking about. And to not recognize this love is, and when I say not to recognize this love, I mean it's already here, it's already available to all full access but I'm f but for what I understand instead of just recognizing this infinite love that is ever present in all beings. Instead, I see that you use carnal things. I see that you use doctrines. I see that you use senses. I see that you're using all of the things of this world. And using these things to define who you are. But when you, when I take away all of these things, when I separate myself from the world, what is the world to me? The world is all things that are not myself. What is the world? The world is my thoughts. That is the world. They come, they work a certain way in this body. This body who I am not. Even when I say myself, it is not the body that I'm referring to. And it's also not important for me to hold on to the words and labels to, to define this experience that is so spacious or this experience that is so divine, this experience that is pure consciousness. That's that space, that presence. Once I leave the presence, I move into objects, and objects can be sound. Object, why? Because when we hear a sound, what's the first thing we do? 
we we perceive we 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 recognize a sound and then all these things come into our mind of what that sound is that is the world all objects that's taste that's hear or what we hear what we see what we feel, the senses, all of these things is the world. It's not things that are out there. It's things that are right in your very space. And you 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 say to me that I need to be saved. And you say to me that I don't have Christ. And you say to me that I need to read a Bible. You're saying all of these things that take me away from the true living infinite awareness of self. I can even, I, I'm reluctant to use the word God because of my history. But the truth is, I can use the word God to explain exactly what I'm saying. But you have to understand what I believe. This word, what vibration I feel when I hear this word for me, God is not a gender. God is not a God is a, see, even I have to untwine untwine myself, untwine myself. Entwine myself. God is what I would refer to as the ever living present. The present that just keeps on giving and giving and giving. I am that I am. It is what it is. God is not a form to me. When I think of God and see God and I don't think of something. When I think of God, I think of my resting place. I think of who I am without any objects. And I know that may be strange to hear, but God without any objects means what people call today meditation is not an actual activity. Meditation is a coming home. It's a coming home from the world. It's a coming home from the world back into your resting place. So you see, when I say God, we don't have the same idea. In fact, I wouldn't even put God as an idea, although when I speak about God, I, ha I will have to use certain words, but who really truly understands the power and what we're talking about here, it is not something that can be thrown away with words. Is only something to be experienced. And all that I can give and all that I see is pointers. 
If you want to use the Bible, that's fine. But understand it's a pointer. If you want to use spiritual talks, I love to listen to spiritual talks. That's fine. But understand it's a pointer to point you back in. If it smells, because sometimes smells help does it for me. My incense and my candles, those are pointers, those are tools to bring myself back to myself, back to I. Not just the I that we use every day as if we really, really, really understand. Not the I that is a boy or I that is a girl is... I is not a boy, I is not a girl, I doesn't feel pain, it's the I that sees, the I that's ever present, the true living I, the true living God, the universe, the consciousness that works, all of these to me are synonymous, there is an order to things. And everything that happens there is is, is, is for is because of your purpose and we're not just pawns that same free will that Christians claim in the Bible that same free will is the same love love is the same power the power that if I don't take certain measures there's certain outcomes I don't get to blame it on God and I don't get to blame it on the devil I only get to take accountability for the part that I play in what manifests or what did not manifest and yet still, I would have to work with this divine energy, this space, because I am in this, also in this container, this vessel, this body that has many limits, that wants to believe that it's real. I got this body that wants to believe that. I am a person. And yes, in our carnal world and physical world, according to the definition of a person, yeah. But if I really, if I want to be free in my mind, I must understand that I am more than this body. I'm more than this face. I'm more than this idea I'm more than this moment in time we're all more than that we're all more than that but do we recognize it when it's right here are you going to recognize it when it's right here free flow and access all around you everything you see is God working through you we're all manifestations of God the fact that I can see you over there is a manifestation of God I know it goes deep and it's not something that you definitely can cover in one video but know this, no Christian, no Muslim, no person practicing whatever religion has to separate you from the love that is already present, the love that is already right here, right now. When I say love that's right here, right now, that is that ever 
access to come home. You can be in traffic and come home. And, and it, it's going it's to come to a point where you don't even have to make an effort to come home. You'll just be home. And you'll see things happening and allowing things to be as they are. And not trying to force and tug as if you want to to prove anything. There's nothing to prove. All there is is just infinite possibilities available every moment. And there is danger, but that doesn't mean you have to fear, you know? You say fear is imagined. <laughs> Imagine that something is real. <laughs> but you hear that? Imagine come home. You're already there. Only thing left to do is to recognize that every moment is divine. Every breath is divine. Every thing you See, you think you see with your eyes, you see with your mind. What do I smell? I smell with my mind. What does it taste like? Mm, I'm tasting it with my mind. But I am not this mind. I am divine.